I'm sitting here at Ottawa's Flavor Factory with Eric Vanny, who's one half of the Juno-nominated duo Rise Ashen and Flying Down Thunder. Their music is an original combination of Aboriginal chanting and house beats. They had their official launch party for their second album, North Wind, at Mercury Lounge last week. Thanks so much for being here with us, Rise. My pleasure. Okay, so I hear you and Flying Down Thunder met on the canal. We did, yeah, it's the typical Ottawa story. So we were, uh, I was out skating, and uh, while I was skating, you hear this beautiful, amazing chanting, and uh, decided to follow the, the sound, and literally skated towards where he was. And uh, he was performing at the time with um, a woman uh, as Pima Dizewin singers, the Good Life singers. And so they would perform together and he was drumming and uh, so started talking to them about collaborating and at the time, you know, exchanged CDs and stuff like that and kind of started dialoguing back and forth about maybe starting a project together and it turned into this after, I guess it's been about three years now. How are you and Flying Down Thunder able to find a sound that suits both of your styles. It seems like a very unlikely combination. It is, I mean, I, I'm pretty fortunate because I guess uh, Flying Down Thunder Kevin is, is very, uh, he's very musically open-minded. So a lot of the stuff that I do with it, I kind of take into different uh, kind of areas, I guess, musical, musical spheres. And so, uh, for example, on the first record, there was even a dubstep kind of sounding uh, number. Uh, there's been some very ambient stuff, which is like very dubby, kind of uh, down-tempo stuff on there. And then there's also House. Um, so, you know, he's pretty open-minded. So typically what it'll be is we try to keep it true in terms of the, um, the actual um, lyrical content and the, the melodic content. It's very much in the traditional powwow style. Um, so we, we try to stick true to that side on the, on the Aboriginal side of the music. And then with me, he kind of lets me do whatever I want with it. So it's, it's pretty free on that, that end. So what is it about the Algonquin style of powwow music that interests you? It's really, really deep. It goes, it goes really far. And I've just kind of scratched the surface with Kevin, I think, of, of what's possible out there. Um, so, but what's fascinating about it is definitely the sounds are so otherworldly, yet it's local music that was here before uh, Westerners came here, you know, so it's it's very, you know, it's it's crazy that it's not more uh, more known and it's crazy that it's not more in the public sphere. What's been the response from the Algonquin community? Has there has there been any like negative backlash on it? Oh, there certainly are some people that are not uh, as open-minded and that feel that, you know, I mean, you're always treading in dangerous waters, especially with the history of oppression like this. Um, so I think it's something that we have to navigate very carefully. Um, the record itself is made with the utmost respect for the culture and is really trying to stay true to the stories and to the, the oral tradition, you know. So, um, you know, certainly from our, uh, our intent is to preserve the culture and to promote it and especially to get young people interested because part of it is that, you know, everything's so glitz and glam on TV that uh, a lot of the kids don't think it's cool to be into Aboriginal culture. So, you know, we're trying to kind of remix it a bit, just give it a different spin and then and try to help kids to get into it, so. So what's next for you in Flying Down Thunder? Keep it open, keep it, you know, just see sort of where the music takes us, you know. It's kind of coming through us, we don't really make the music, so thank well, you. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thanks. We really appreciate pleasure. it. Right. High five. Yeah. <laughs>